Hello viewers, today we will uh, discuss about SP.NET Core JWT authentication uh, or and role based authorization using .NET 7.0. So here is the guideline. So what we are going to do. So first we will create a project using Visual Studio 2020. We will create two different projects. One is API project, another one will be class library and class library project will uh, take care about DB connection, DB migration and model stuff here is the list of uh, packages uh, jwt bearer for authentication and entity framework core and later we will uh, make sure the db connection in asp app setting .json file create model so let me uh, com let me complete the uh, one to five uh, this step uh, from one to five uh, first then I will explain from 6 to 11 later so here is my visual studio so I will create a new project now .NET 7 and HTTPS and I will open API support so create um, project is creating using Visual Studio our api project template just basic and if i build and run the project then we can see just a, a default swagger documentations User management weather get weather right now execute so we are getting data using a default template project so now I will uh, make sure the DB connection and DLL class library project now we'll create another project which is class library project new project class library dot net standard next user man dot data Yes, spelling is correct. Dot net seven point zero create.
so package installation done now i'll prepare the model uh, the class library project so for faster configuration i will copy the model from my current project copy let me explain one way this is the application db context just <coughs> where we are using identity core the entity framework core package installation uh, let me entity framework core install the package Entity framework core. So uh, previously uh, we did a mistake like it will be sp.net core.identity so uh, installation package command let me share you share with you and uh, it is framework core.identity will be sp.net core.identity as we you as we are using uh, sp.net identity core for user management uh, we got error because uh, we installed the <coughs> only identity sp.net core entity framework core so we are extending we are extending uh, identity db context application user and we also customize the application user by uh, passing the first name and last name I'll show you the <coughs> database the way we are uh, once we successfully created the database and we can see the first name and last name properties as well 
and let me just remove the nullable so no need to allow null so now this time green marks will be disappear So application DB is okay. So uh, once we just migrate the um, DB, once we run the DB migration command, so uh, default identity table will be uh, will be created in the database. I will uh, show you the, show the database as well. So application user, first name, last name, and login model for uh, login functionality and registration. Here is the registration view model and user role. We have uh, create two uh, user role admin and use admin and user so now uh, using the package manager console i will uh, i will complete the db migration so before db migration i have to make sure the database connection here uh, so uh, we will use uh, username and password db connection So we have two different connection without uh, username and password uh, like a uh, Windows authentication SQL server login and using username and password. So DB connection is okay. And now uh, I have to prepare the program.cs for DB connection, DB connectivity. user management dot data application db context so adding the project reference automatically with the help of visual studio uh, so application db context is okay So uh, as we are uh, getting errors, showing error, we have to install Entity Framework Core dot tool in the API project. Also in the API project, I will install authentication dot JWTP error. So uh, just opening the terminal in API project. Entity Framework Core dot tool. 
install success and if we go to the package reference we can see entity framework core tool has been installed successfully so using sql server just if we add the entity framework core so reference that is sent successfully and remove has been gone so we will uh, we'll install another remaining package uh, jwtp error So DB connection uh, stuff is done uh, without any issue and errors. I'm just closing all all the windows. So if I rebuild, rebuild is success. let me check my DB name api dot user management and maybe I already have this DB uh, I will delete the DB name now so that new DB has been created successfully So here is my Azure Data Studio DB new query and uh, API database. If I expand my database, already see we can we have API uh, uh, API user management DB. I'm just deleting this and I refresh. So database has been deleted successfully. If I go back to my project and build this success, now I will create uh, migration using package manager console. Uh, I have to you can go to the tool and look at package manager package manager console CLS uh, add my creation it create hopefully this time there will be no issue and uh, bill but uh, it does not match your migration as in business since target project yes we have to select the data CLS DB migration created now I will update the database update database sorry typing mistake Uh, we can see the update command successful and the default uh, sp sp.net core identity table hopefully created in the database uh, refresh we can see uh, db created and if we expand the table we can see the list of identity table and uh, sp.net users sorry Dotnet user select uh, currently this table is empty API user management yes currently this table is empty so our next job, job is create uh, uh, API and using the API call we will create new user and get the token and later we will uh, verify it, uh, the other API call with the help of token so hopefully uh, database connection create models update uh, so up to database migration up to six step we have done now I will create auth controller and auth service now I will create the auth, auth service first so before creating auth service we have to configure um, uh, uh, JW token key in the app setting.json file. Um, just copying my current previous project. So, 
so we have uh, four different key uh, valid audience uh, let me configure my project sorry not this one uh, properties launch setting chart session so I will pass the 5000 one and 5000 without HTTPS so HTTP just 5000 and HTTP is 5000 so valid audience 5001 valid issuer 5000 so we have two key and token expire uh, time in our three just uh, I'm setting as a default and here is our secret so token uh, key configuration done and uh, we already installed the JWT bearer authentication package uh, you can check the package by clicking the project name now I will create JWT service auth service basically Here is our service folder iOS service registration. Here we have passed the view model and role name and login just login view model. And if we go to the auth service details, we can uh, inject uh, the application user identity role and configuration for read the JWT key from application app setting.json file and here is the registration and here is the login so and we create the generate token here so now our next job is configure the program.cs file identity and uh, token jwt token setting here is the identity setting and here is the authentication JWT so we read the uh, JWT key and here is a secret and uh, clock skew time span dot zero so we have to also uh, pass the service uh, auth service So service pass service has been passed successfully. App dot builder. So we have done two different level configuration identity and JWT peer. Uh, so our auth service is ready. Now our final job is create controller. We will create two different controller. One is just test data controller and another one will be uh, application authentication controllers. Here is our controller authentication controller uh, using authentication controller we will log in and register create new user and uh, user list for verify the, the token we are passing the role admin here without the role and uh, uh, token that you cannot access this space I will uh, show the demo using postman so our controller uh, is and service are ready and uh, now if we build the project so so far our project is ready now we'll test using postman so create auth controller create auth services test api using postman so if i just run the project we can see the default uh, api documentation Uh, 
uh, here is the default API documentation just uh, weather focused so let me uh, simplify the builder so i need to add the app dot map controller app dot use authentication and authorization so that we can check the jwt uh, bearer just removing the extra code oh, project is running i'm just closing the project So app.builder has been simplified so we have used authentication authorization map.controllers so now if I run the project uh, by building rebuilding we can check the controller details the web service is not longer running Uh, so <clears throat> I was talking about uh, so I was talking about like uh, authentication at authentication and authorization so we already configured uh, identity and JWT bearer uh, if we just build and later uh, just for this purpose run the project we can uh, we can see the default uh, Swagger so documentation with our expected uh, two new controller like login and registration. So our controller is ready and project is running successfully. So I just open my postman. I already configure uh, the registration, login and user list. So let me first registration. So uh, here is the registration uh, body. username email password first name last name and if I s so 5000 without HTTPS so request is showing status 2001 created and uh, uh, user has been created successfully and if we check this uh, verified this uh, in the database we can see so first time last time and the user details so user registration done so we have the username and password now using username and password we will log in so we have to update the username here is the username and password and uh, let me show you the token expired time you have to go to the service of service uh, currently it is just one minute for testing uh, just one minute later I will request then I will get uh, unauthorized mm. using username and password so login success and we got the token which expert time is just one minute and here is the user list uh, for this application just for uh, testing the token if we go to the user list controller just a static string the some user player name here and if we request this uh, user list API uh, we are getting 200 uh, so I will update the API token so we are getting data so list of user using the token so let me wait few uh, just one minute I'm just uh, pausing my video now 
so just one minute later if i request using this uh, token we'll uh, will not get the expected result so the status is 5401 so unauthorized so if i log in again and using the new token will request then we will get the expected data sent so we are getting expected data and so based on our plan uh, we have to create all service test IP uh, using postman now I will deploy in the IS and test API using the IS hosting so deployment command is pretty simple Just uh, right click the application, go to the terminal, and So here is the app published command. Um, app is publishing now. publish is successful you can get the publish details in this uh, path location just uh, right click and the project and uh, go to the open file explorer and I'm having issues in the bin folder release dotnet 7 publish so you have to <coughs> copy this path and set into the <coughs> IIS configuration <coughs> uh, like uh, right click and advanced settings here is, you have to set the path physical path here <coughs> so I, I already configured IIS so <coughs> restart and this API project is running uh, using port 82 <coughs> so if I just <coughs> using the postman I already have uh, the IIS, U, IIS user list so here is here we can see the port number is 82 uh, request so we can get the data and uh, here is the uh, token so <coughs> uh, we have uh, almost done <coughs> based on our initial plan <coughs> like we have created two different project uh, 
uh, so based on our initial project we have created two different project like api project uh, and class library project install record packages so we have to install identity.entity framework or not entity framework core and other packages that uh, gen update the application setting dot json file uh, create model with application db context database migration and uh, also the update program dot cs file uh, by make sure db connection identity and uh, uh, jw token setting in the app setting dot json file you have to make sure the conf uh, token key here is the token key and later we have i you have to make sure the authentication controller and with the service you can create your registration using uh, the authentication controller you can uh, create registration and login and you login you can get the uh, token so we almost done so using this project you can uh, learn the basic of uh, token uh, jw token authentication and you have to uh, i'm considering you know the asp.net core basic and you know the basic of identity and basic of entity framework core so we have used the code first approach and uh, if we go to the auth service so we could generate token here and login so we have uh, here is our user management object instance so using this instance we, you, we can find by name and get the user details and checks the user role and uh, also check the user claim here and finally we generate the token also the registration process we have to check some validation and finally create uh, user and with uh, the role if role not exists then we create the new role and if user role not exists then we add to the role here so this is the very basic hopefully you understand the, all the details so i will create uh, the github repo and share the link so that you can download just uh, download and using visual studio 2020 uh, you can run the project also i will share this documentation the uh, project details and uh, also the uh, postman collection using the postman collection you can just uh, log in registration and uh, user list for verification the token uh, expired time so thank you uh, so see you in the next video hopefully uh, some uh, audio issue and <laughs> others uh, explanation issue please excuse me and i will improving in the audio issue in the next video
you see in the next video